Welcome to Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, you know, what do you remember about lunches from mi- elementary school? From elementary yeah, school. Yeah, did you pack a lunch or were you buy at school at lunch, boy? <laughs> Bro, I had a Transformers lunchbox with Optimus Prime and Starscreen battling it out. Um, yeah, it was cool. And I had like one of those thermos mugs with like the red plastic top. Yeah, and, and I remember my mom strapping like ham and cheese sandwich. I never really. That's, I think that's why I hate ham to this day. Ham and cheese sandwich, like a pack of like Mott's applesauce, um, and like like a pudding cup, and like some grapes or some ish, and like you know, yeah. But you, yeah, you, I remember like the big therm. Like I'm old school, bro. So I had like the the, the big like hard case. I'm making the wrong noise when I do that, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I had the um, I had uh, that I had a Mario Brothers one, and like I remember, like <laughs> I remember, you? like people we would all sit them down in in lunch and we pretend we're watching TV with our lunchbox yeah! on. Yeah, like you had the one that was like it opened long ways, like you know, like the front folded down, like it was a square, like yeah, it, like I remember, yeah, the squares, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but I had one. I bought it. When uh, I went to Canada, oh, and it was a, it was a, it was a tall, skinny lunchbox, and it, 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 so it was only like maybe like four inches wide by twelve inches long by twelve inches high, so it was like it was the same shape, but it, it broke apart in the middle, and th- there was a thermos in the top. Okay, and then that's it, new school stuff. Yeah, and it ha- that was Transformers, by the way, and people were always like, <laughs> always Transformers. People were like. Where did you get that? And I'm like, Canada, bitch. And then <laughs> this man flexing with yeah, his lunchbox. Yeah, yeah. But I used, to, I remember I used to go get a, I would go get a pudding cup and a uh, pretzel rod from the snack stand, yeah. and then we would like dip it in and eat it. Oh, like pudding and pretzel. I'm not yeah. mad at that. A, Chocolate or vanilla though. Uh. Either it was a mix, bro. I used, they, I'm sorry, I used to, vanilla pudding on a pretzel stick is just way too phallic for my mind, and I'm gonna okay. have to call you out on that. Well, you know that's fine, but you know what? You know what else is a staple of student lunches? Capri Suns. Okay, okay. I mean, I will admit that me and Jonas are a little bit out of the Capri Sun era, but I do appreciate a Capri Sun. Yeah, we had Huggies. They we did the Huggies. <laughs> Whoa. You dating us a little too much on this episode. <laughs> I am too. I admit it that we are. We both are dating ourselves a little yeah, too Yeah, yeah, yeah. But cool. anyways, so, like, you know, Capri Sun, you know, I always thought was funny about Capri Sun is like. They're delicious. About, about 90% of the time they work flawlessly, but that other 10% of the time, it was hard as hell to get the liquid out of that damn bitch. <laughs> like you couldn't get the, the straw would bend and then, you could, and then it was over. You couldn't. It was it. Once the straw bent. When you take that beveled end, that beveled end of the straw. <laughs> And you try to poke it in, and that some bitch make an L shape. It is the most <laughs> frustrating you might thing. Just throw that shit in the trash at that point, <laughs> right? Just throw the whole pack in the trash. <laughs> That's it. You, then you gotta take a knife. You're up there with a freaking steak knife. Yeah. Then you up there with a goddamn steak knife, trying to poke the perfect hole. You make a slit in it. It's all wrong now. The yeah. the pressurization's off when you try to sip. Yeah, it's a bag. It's, it's, dr- you're drinking a drink out of a bag. It ain't working out well. Out of a bag. It's crazy. <laughs> it is a bag, but we call them pouches in America, yeah, all right? Yeah. Well, if you're in Canada, you can get your milk out of a bag or whatever. Oh, God. But you we know in America, really weird we call them pouches. I went to Costco mm-hmm. and bought a uh, rotisserie chicken, which they're very famous for, and they used to come in these plastic containers. They sell them bitches in a bag now, and it was so hard to get that chicken out of the bag. I'm never buying one a- again, ever. From Costco. I don't know why they won't respect the fact that Americans just don't like bags. We yeah. don't like bags. We don't like eating things out of bags. If you're getting... Look, it's so bad that the wine in a box... Is essentially in a bag. Thank you. It's a it's, <laughs> Thank it's you. a box bag. We had to hide that shit in the box. So if you had wine in a bag, nobody's getting that. It looks but poor. It, but if it has a spout on it out of a box... Exactly. They're like, oh, that's fa- that's fancy. Though. Exactly. Yeah. And right. that's because we don't respect bags in this country. That shit can go off in Canada. You can go get your bag milk, your bag wine, your bag. They sell bag milk there? They do. Oh. It's like synonymous with uh with Canada's the bag, bag milk. Bag, bags with liquid? <laughs> bags you know, of milk. You know, I used I know to work at sure. Wendy's and the chocolate frosty came in a big giant bag with like a pour spout on it. And it was just like chocolate milk in a bag and you like poured it in. Nah. You know, the one thing we used to do. Is we would we would pour a cup of just the raw frosty mix, 
because it was cold as hell. It was like the best chocolate milk you ever eat. So if next time you go to Wendy's, be like, can I get a cup of raw Frosty? And they're going to look at you like you're an insane person. But they're going to know what you're talking about because they <laughs> all do it. Raw Frosty. They all do it. They're like, okay. they, you know what they're going to say to you? Did you used to work here? Because everybody, when you you take it off, you pour a cup of raw Frosty, and then you dump the rest in the in the machine. But you get that sweet, sweet, cold, thick chocolate milk. Best okay, ever. All right. Just saying. Ask him. I love what's going to happen. I love it. I love it. Anyways. Fat, fat boy tips. Let's get it. <laughs> fat boy tips. It is, man. It's, a little bit. It was probably a thousand calories for one ounce of that shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Drink, we're drinking 32 ounce cups full of it. <laughs> just freaking Crisco. Get, get a big <laughs> cup of raw, fro just melted ice cream in a big, in a big cup. Anyways. So, Capri Sun. So Capri Sun's. There's a rumor, TNT. I heard. I've heard, man. That they're getting rid of the bag. I've they're heard. going to the bottle. I've heard. It'll be the end of them. Bro, are, are there images of it online of the bottle? The, the, the... I mean, I saw like a make like okay. a makeshift. Like it's, it basically just looks like a dull pineapple bottle with a okay. with Capri Sun on it. So the th this strikes me as uh, a company putting some leads Feelers. out there, yeah, to see how how people are going to feel. It's about like it. when they put the picture of Sonic out before the movie, just to be like, so everyone it, was like, "What the hell is Sonic? Exactly. Oh, we need to change that." Exactly, exactly. They but it, that stuff. But, yeah. but it would it would be the end of them because I feel like the whole point of Capri sons are they're easy to pack into a lunch yeah into you can't, a lunch. like people ain't packing plastic bottles in a lunch because they're hard yeah. to fit in the thing exactly it becomes a game of tetris at that point you know what i'm saying it's like you gotta you gotta fit as much into a tiny compartment as you can to feed this child for a day so that they can come home and eat more food yeah it's like you slap a sandwich in a day. little bag of pretzels and some great and then there's like there's nowhere to put a bottle in there but you know what you can put a goddamn pouch of water on top of it yeah big facts and, and you know so but uh yeah so i don't know if they're actually gonna go through with it they're gonna reinvent the game i don't see how how is this cost effective if the, I feel like the, the shit pouch. The shit pouch? The, the colostomy bag <laughs> the colostomy. Of, of liquid <laughs> is, is such a better cost-effective measure. We call, than them we call them pouches in America. I'm sorry. Colostomy pouch. Uh, you know, I don't know if I want. I mean, I feel it. Like, when you buy a. Wait, what really weirds me out about Capri Sun is you buy a, a box of. Of pouched liquid. A box of pouches. A box of pouch, And it's not cold. It's just like yeah. on the shelf next to your Kool-Aid coolers that are in it. Like, I don't know. They're, they have that like soft plastic bottle. So they're like the net. Like, I could see Capri Sun going to the Kool-Aid the Kool-Aid twist cap. Like, mm -hmm. like a squeeze pop. Like A squeeze pop? Like a Go-Gurt? <laughs> <laughs> a Go-Gurt of Capri Sun? Just a tube? <laughs> yeah. Ew. That's, but they gotta thicken it up, you know? Like, no, don't thicken it it's up. A, it's like a pre sun smoothie. Oh, like a pre sun applesauce. Honestly, oh. that doesn't sound bad. I don't yeah. know. Either yeah. way, I mean, a look, Capri Sun won the lunch wars over high C, okay? Because we don't even see high C boxes anymore. And, and I think they got them in the store, but yeah, you ain't wrong. Yeah, Capri they Sun, they did. They beat. You know why? Because they got rid of Ecto Cooler. I mean, it could be because of the ecto cooler, because because of the the uh, the form th that went into their product. The fact that it is in a pouch, it's easier to pack than a bunch of uh, high C boxes. Yeah, the last time we talked about ecto cooler, I bought an ecto cooler magnet. I put it on the refrigerator. I know it's, yeah, up there. it's still yeah. sitting there. It makes every day I look at it and think of my childhood and cry. It's still sitting there today. So I I I just I very much disadvise them to go into this bottle format that I honestly don't see how it's how it's any benefit to them to do so because their industry is already set up to make these pow these pouches. So like in every factory they'd have to switch over to bottles or maybe they plan to close down factories and send the uh the orders over to other factories and do it remote. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe that's big, an option. Big Maybe bottle that's... is up for the win. Yeah. Cost to me bags for the loss. It seems like a lot of companies are downsizing. They're closing down uh, 
they're closing down places, brick and mortars. So Red maybe, lobster. yeah. So maybe that's part of it. I don't see as many kids drinking Capri Sun as I <laughs> ever have. You seeing? I guess you got a point there. <laughs> I just don't know if Capri Sun is popping off, man. I don't watch a lot of TV. If you're a teacher, how many kids you see and eating drinking Capri Sun at lunchtime? That's fair. Is it big? I don't is it know. Big pouch? Is Capri Sun still even a thing? Do people still get Capri Sun? Yeah, I see him at the store. Like every ever, time I walk by, I throw a box on the ground. Could you imagine an adult buying Capri Suns though? I'm gonna do some next week, bro. I Just would put have them in the fridge. We're we gonna have a conversation. I, I want some you bring zero a box calorie of Capri, Suns. Capri Suns. Can I get some low cows? Let's see. Now, now you're asking for adult <laughs> Capri Suns. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem with this country. All right. <laughs> Can I have adult to- Capri Suns? Adult Heelys. These things should not exist. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah i feel you so anyways that's all time we have today's episode please make sure to like subscribe go to the crazy that's where we live for jonas tnt oh yeah